Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to a brand new video in Spin Tires Mudrunner where the background gameplay you're going to be watching is basically Mudrunner with some mods on a racetrack map where I've just basically been having a bit of fun uh, ripping around in this power stroke, kind of going nuts and uh, later on in the video we end up towing around a little Suzuki for fun and flipping it all over the place but that is not the subject of this video. This video is a follow-up to the Mud Runner American Wilds vehicle stats uh, video that I posted yesterday. Now, this video is going to go a little bit more in depth on some of the odd and weird vehicles, um, especially the one we're going to cover first in a little bit. Now, before I continue on, I know that the video, the ones that we covered in the previous video, uh, I know that those trucks, you know, you guys had known about before. But again, th that was the first time we had been able to really discuss the statistics of those trucks. Now, this is the K8400 Skidder. It is basically a monster. It is it has all-wheel drive, diff lock, its roll is literally just as it's described, a skitter, a log skitter, and its weakness, really its only two weaknesses are that it's slow, and it kind of relies on other vehicles to a degree. Now, its strengths are, ex it says basically, is excellent at traversing harsh terrain. Now, when it says excellent at traversing harsh terrain, that's a pretty broad term, so I would say they probably mean does decently well through mud and rocks and water and what have you. So, I would say, at the end of the day, this is going to be kind of like those big, you know, skitter-style vehicles that we're already used to, just with a little bit of an American twist to it. So, I, for one, am excited to drive this vehicle. I think it's going to be a really good heavy-duty vehicle. I think it's going to be a good workhorse, and I think it's going to really add to the dynamic of the game. And I think it'll be something worth using. I mean, unless you really, really want to do, you know, like auto spawned logs into a trailer and stuff like that, you know, unless you only want to play the game that way, then you're definitely going to be using this thing some. So uh, if you're playing in any sort of like scavenge style mode, this vehicle is going to be very, very, very important to you because you're going to need this thing to get decent amounts of logs from one place to another without a logging truck, especially if they have the map set up to where the logging trucks are kind of in a weird spot and the only way to get the lumber to where the trucks can access it is to pull it there with a skitter because in real life you know sometimes you have lumber that's cut down in an area that's really inaccessible by truck but these massive skitters with huge tires can actually get to where the, the trees have been cut so you need to be able to kind of, you know, that is the way, the backup way to get the lumber up to where the trucks can actually pick it up. So, and that's not applicable in every logging situation, but in some situations it is. Now, moving on from the skitter, and by the way, by the way, I am very, very excited for this next vehicle. I think it's going to be real, like a really, really fun rig. But not only is it going to be a really, really fun rig, it's going to be a rig that I think a lot of people are going to just want to play around with and want to drive around because they identify with it. You'll either have had one of these in in your family along the line at some point. One of your friends will have owned one. Um, like, one of your friends' friends will have owned one. It's just one of those really, really, really iconic trucks that everybody, everybody has either, you know, had a family member with one of these or has known someone that's had one of these throughout the years. And to be brutally honest, I mean, I think I know, I, I or knew people with like, oh gosh, like one, two, three, maybe four people with these things growing up. But it's literally that OBS style F-150. I mean, it's that boxy, square body style, like really, again, Ford OBS F-150. And I think this is pretty much going to retake the role of the UAZ. And when I say, re like, kind of, you know, take on the role that the UAZ would play, I mean take on the role of the UAZ in terms of scouting and, you know, scouting, getting rid of, uh, getting rid of watch points, or really, you know, kind of unlocking watch points, kind of uncloaking uh, different areas of the map. It does have all-wheel drive and diff lock. Its role is a scout vehicle, and strengths-wise, it's agile, um, and can take a fair amount of damage before it actually gets disabled. Um, weaknesses include the fact that it has very few, um, like, very few add-ons, and apparently, according to this description, it also uses a lot of fuel and uses it quite quickly. So, that's kind of, I mean, what it seems like it's getting at here is, at least description-wise, what it seems like it's getting at here 
is a faster, more powerful UAZ that uses more fuel. And that kind of seems to me like the, uh, that, that kind of seems to me like what, you know, the, the actual normal description of this, uh, of this rig would be. So at least that seems like how, uh, how, how they're kind of trying to describe it. And that makes sense at the end of the day. I mean, it makes sense to me that it would be really, you know, kind of the same role as the UAZ, just faster, more powerful, and uses more fuel. So that is definitely going to be one that I am excited to play around with, and I'm also excited to see kind of how the quality is compared to some of the mods that we've seen in the the user base as it is right now, because the mod base um, for this game obviously has been huge, and I'm so excited, again, to see how these vehicles play in terms of, you know, being the fact that they were made by the developers themselves rather than, uh, rather than being modded into the game. And I'm excited to compare them to really, really top quality um, mods in, in, like, you know, throughout the user base of these, uh, like, of the people that make really, really good high quality mods. Because there are some people in this, you know, in this community that make insanely good mods. Like, they use high quality models, high quality animations, high quality sounds. Everything is just done very, very, very well. High quality textures. I mean, some of these mods are really, really top notch and top notch enough to rival that of the developers themselves. But this last truck that I'm going to be talking about in this video is quite simply a monstrous lumbering beast. And it is the Chevy Bison. This thing is a, like, dude, this thing is tremendous. Now, its strengths are, or really strength, because there's only one, uh, is that it's a strong on-road hauler. Weaknesses is that it, it cannot use a loader attachment, so you better be ready to load this thing up with something if you plan on using it. It does not have all-wheel drive, but it does have the ability to lock the diff. So, like the Freightliner and the Ford, this is another one of those trucks that does not have an all-wheel drive option. Again, the only one that you're going to be able to go to for that is the Western Star. But the Western Star is not going to be anywhere near as fast as these trucks. And again, I still believe that the Freightliner is going to come out on top as the fastest truck. But this truck is kind of one of those, um, one of those weird trucks that not a lot of people have a lot of experience with it. At least I hadn't really seen one of these. Um, in, at least if I had seen one in person, I didn't really know what it was. And it, even if I knew what it was, even if I recognized that it was a Chevy, I didn't really know much about its history. So when this ended up being announced for the game, I actually kind of did a little bit of Googling and looked it up and kind of read up on this truck a little bit. And, you know, not too much. I didn't, like, you know, uh, go in-depth enough to, like, write a paper on the thing. But I did end up looking the truck up and looking into its history a little bit, and apparently these things were actually used um, used a lot in in the heavy duty market at a certain time. So, and again, this is a like it's a little bit of an older truck, but I think it really plays well into the environment that this uh, that this expansion is set in. So uh, now that we've gone over all of the big rigs. Um, you know, not necessarily all of the vehicles themselves, but really, you know, I kind of wanted to hit on all of the really unique vehicles that we haven't really talked about too, too much. And I know this video has more vehicles that we haven't talked about all that much um, than the previous video did. I mean, we talked about those other vehicles some, but we didn't talk about them on a statistics basis. And I think when you talk about these things on a statistics basis, you have to kind of go back and revisit some of the other vehicles first to put everything into kind of like this bigger picture in terms of you know how you really want to get like how you want to get the message uh, across um it just to kind of again just to kind of again get everything together in the same place so at the end of the day i think that american wilds has a awesome awesome lineup of vehicles i think it's going to be a brilliant 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 entry into the series even though it is an expansion and not a whole new game i think it's going to add to the series very 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 nicely and i think it's going to bring in uh some maybe maybe even some more people that didn't even know what the game was and i for one cannot wait to cover it uh when it gets released very 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 soon and by the way dude i am so excited i am so excited to play american wilds for the first time it is not only one of my like most anticipated expansions uh for this year but it's one of my favorite, like, I would almost call, like, the Spin Tires, you know, franchise kind of like a cult game. And it's incredible to watch it go from 
this crazy, weird terrain deformation indie title to what it is now in terms of this massive, like, off-road ga off gaming-focused behemoth. Um, and I think that it's really cool that it's gotten to that point. So I, for one, like I said, am extremely excited to see where all of this stuff goes, and I cannot wait to get my hands on these vehicles and do full Let's Plays of the new maps with these new trucks in Spin Terror's Mudrunner American Wilds for you guys right here on the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave me a like. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. Subscribe for more Forza, more Mud Runner, and anything and everything else related to driving and off-roading. And I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you later.